Okay, hands. So worst fall, starting first. Boom. Um, we pop. Boom. Over. The momentum is so strong coming this way. If I don't press here and the leg isn't strong, you'll go over this way. Right? And because the hands are bound, if your hands are bound, you're going to hit your head, right? Yeah. So I'm going to give you a super open support. Make sure that I keep that center line and not let it drop this way a lot. And push a lot on this hand because all the momentum is going right for this one. Okay? So now let's do it correctly so that you can see. Oh, let me break it down first. Yeah? Oh, you yeah. like This is what it should look like, right? So one, two, boom, pop, straddle white, deep, boom. Right? But with a nice big pop in there. Okay, that's what it should look like. One handed. Turn it back into bird. Okay, let's talk about the bits that make this work. First thing is the hands, right? So if we're going this way, my right hand should be on top. So we'll, we'll just let's just try how it would be if your left hand was on top. You just can't, you can't spin because my arm's locked, right? So we have to put the right hand on top. Because we have to be really clear about point B where it ends up, which is straddle back, right? So good arms here. Really focus a lot on this arm because as you're floating over, you'll be pushing into that kind of a tripod handstand pose, pushing down into me, right? So let me see if I can do this. All right, let's do this one here. So here, we're, I'm not gonna pop you from bird. It gives you no power. I have to get onto the hip first, side of the hip, right? From here, I'm gonna give you a strong pop, pop off. I'm gonna really power squat, pop off the toes, and you're gonna straddle deep, right? Because if you don't straddle, my feet will slide right off, right? So, and then you feel that in your arms here, how much momentum comes onto this side. So we're gonna focus a lot of the base pushing up, and then Kirsten, you're gonna be pushing down into me, into my hands a lot here. And then this leg has to catch really strong too. Actually for this one, I wouldn't catch, i absorb a little bit, but not too much because then you could fall over this way too. So strong arm, particularly here. Let's barrel roll over again. Okay, hand, right hand on top, left and bottom. I wanna walk it one more time. One, two, down, pop, and boom. Good arms mm -hmm. there, pushing, okay? That was a potential fall there. You felt that? Well, like if your toes miss me. Yes, sure, certainly. <laughs> I'm coming. Yes, you could come straight down, and, and because the hands, that, and because hurt. the hands are bound, you could hurt your hands too. So I'm giving a support, but always open in case you need to. You can let go and and press off the ground or press off the mirror. Okay. So again, turning over, and again we're making. Well, I'm making sure to pop not from bird but off of this hip here, okay? So hand placement first, get strong arms, find that nice 45 degree. One, two, I slide my foot over, down. I bend my knee so it helps you shift your hip over and then I pop you deep and you've got a straddle pike. And I've got to make sure to catch this toes in deep here and not wide here because it's uncomfortable. Really tight and deep into the hip. Okay, let's do it. Let's demonstrate what it should look like. Over. Hands. One, two, down, up, boom. Nice. Again. I really tense this hip. When you tense this hip, as I'm popping, you'll pop strong because I'm popping off something really solid, okay? Okay. One, two, down, straddle, pike, boom. Good. It lost it. So that's the idea. Uh, this one.